What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing our Can-Am Defender polycarbonate roof on this Can-Am Defender. Let's get right to it. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove all the contents of your packaging from Super ATV, get it all laid out, make sure that you have everything. Then you're going to take your roof, you're going to lay it up on the machine, make sure that it fits. We've already done this. Once you've done that, just go ahead and remove all of the protective film off of your roof. So now that we have it removed from one side, we're just going to flip it, remove it from the opposite side. So now we're going to grab our right side bracket as well as two of our short allens and two of our nylock nuts. So we're going to make sure that our ceiling washer is installed on our hardware. We're going to slide our hardware from the outside going in. Let's take our bracket, lay it on top, make sure the hardware protrudes through the bracket and we're going to take our nylock nut. Started. Once we have it, have our hardware started, we can go ahead and fully tighten our hardware and then repeat the same steps for the opposite side of the roof. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove our bulb seal from our packaging. And we're gonna apply this bulb seal starting at the bottom of our brackets that we just installed all the way across to here. So once you have that piece applied, you just wanna cut off the excess and then you'll wanna run a piece from the top of the bracket all the way across to this point here. So whenever you're installing the bulb seal, you wanna make sure that the bulb of the bulb seal is facing up. So once you get to this point here, just go ahead and cut off your excess bolt seal. I'm gonna start right here on this edge. all the way across. So once you get to this point here, just go ahead and cut off your exo.
So now we're gonna install our roof to the machine. Just like so. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our M6 by 45 millimeter Allen. This will be the longest Allen in the kit. Uh, we're gonna install a sealing washer to it so that the seal portion is facing down towards the threads. We're also gonna grab a spacer out of our kit. We're gonna take the spacer, slide it underneath the windshield so it'll be in between the windshield and the frame of the machine. Push down, then we're gonna take our nylock nut and go on the inside and just start our nut loosely. And we're just gonna continue that same process for the rest of our three holes in the front. Just gonna lift that roof up, slide your spacer in. Once you have it started through, just go ahead and install your nut. The hardware, slide it through. Just have to line it up with the hole. Get our hardware started. Just like that. So now we're gonna grab our short Allen headed hardware as well as our clamps. We're gonna install them to the cage, just like so. We're gonna line it up with the holes in the roof. Drop our hardware down through the top. Get our nuts started. And we'll do the exact same process for the rest of the three clamps. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our spacer and our long hardware that we used on the front of the roof to attach it to the machine back on this rear most hole here. So if you do not have a Super ATV rear windshield installed, all you're gonna do is take the push pin that's included in the kit and pop it into the hole. If you do have a rear windshield installed, you would need to remove your bracketry here, which we've already done so, and then install the spacer in between the rear windshield and the roof, and then couple the two together with the provided Allen headed hardware, just like so. Go ahead and get your hardware through, start your nut. So now we're gonna grab the remaining hardware in our kit. We're gonna have four of our larger Allens with four of our larger ceiling washers. They're gonna go, they're gonna go right through the roof 
into the threaded holes on the cage just like so. Then we're gonna repeat the same steps to the opposite side. Then all we're gonna do is go through and fully tighten all of our hardware. So this next step is optional, but we do provide some foam in the kit if you'd like to put foam back here just to better seal your roof. So we're just going to cut a small piece of foam. Peel the backing. And install it. Just like so. So essentially all you're doing is just tucking it into this bracket that we previously installed. And you can do that for both sides. So once you have all of your hardware tightened down, you have your roof exactly where you want it, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's full roof on this Can-Am Defender. Be sure to check the description below for a link to pick yours up today. And while you're there, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.